Hey everyone, Joey here. Things have been getting pretty exciting on my HL scale switching layout that I've been working on, and so I figured I'd put together a quick update video to uh, share what I've been working on here. So last time I got the DCC working, all the track is soldered, everything's working great. This time I'm going to work on some scenery and building some structures. So let's check it out. All right, so I started by putting together some Walther's warehouse kits. There was one full kit and there was also a background kit and basically I just kit bash them together. Uh, here I'm just spray painting all the parts before I glue them together. So gray for like uh, pieces of windows and the, the tops of the building and then spray painted everything else with appropriate colors for like brick and for the sidings. And here I'm just putting on some gray wash for the mortar. I wanted it to be a lighter color. I didn't want it to be really dark. Uh, just felt like that looked like a good look. And here I'm putting on them some aged concrete. Uh, this is uh, Model Masters uh, acrylic. And just to give it a concrete uh, block on the top. And <laughs> randomly painted small bricks, just this gray color, randomly across all the brick pieces. Here I'm just weathering it a little bit with some artist pastels. Just took some dark gray. I had already dull coated the, all the pieces, so. It actually stuck really well. Here I'm doing one of the garage doors. I only did one garage door. I didn't decide on doing more than that. I didn't feel like I needed to uh, for the particular layout that I was going for. Here's a finished piece here. And here I'm waiting for some glue to dry. So just framed it all out. Uh, those one, two, three blocks there are super helpful uh, for things like this. And then once it was all glued together, I weathered the outside of it. I wanted to do this last before I glued it all together, or after I glued it all together, uh, that would make it easier to make sure that it has a nice little consistent look across the whole thing. Then I just took the tip of a pencil and I etched in the foam where I wanted the pieces to go so that I knew where to lay down some uh, masking for the um, concrete pads that I was about to pour. So this is actually the road tape for, from Woodland Scenics for making roads. And it was the perfect height. It's the sixteenth of an inch, which is exactly the height of the concrete pad that I needed to make. Here I framed it all out. And then I mixed up some anchoring cement, my favorite technique for making uh, concrete pads and roadways. Laid that down, troweled it out with a stick, and then just let it cure overnight. Then when that was dry, I just peeled the tape off. And there we go, a nice concrete pad. Then it was time to etch it. I used a rasp and an X-Acto knife, dull blade. Well, it became dull <laughs> after that. And then I just took some artist pastels and using my finger, I just rubbed it in all the different cracks that I had made and all the little crevices just to give it some, um, some weathering there. And here we go. I also sprayed it with dull coat just to, to seal that, that powder in. I didn't get all the powder, but uh, that's okay. I can always go back and do it again. Um, here I'm just painting the rails with some uh, brown that I had mixed up, just coming to mimic the um, uh, rail brown that Model Master makes. I can't find any more of it for some reason, so I just mixed up my own. And here I'm just laying down some glue and putting down some backyard dirt that I sifted out and baked a while ago. Um, looks really good. Um, oh, also I built the um, the uh, the stops for the end of the tracks there, the uh, the bumpers. And then these are Caboose Industry ground throws, which are actually really nice. They have a spring inside so that they hold the, um, the switch points right against the rails, so which is really nice. I did have to fiddle around with them just a little bit just to make sure that they are in the right spot. And here I'm actually taking a silver Sharpie, and I switched all the switches so that the switch points were straight, and then I put the silver on that side so I knew at a glance which way the switch points were going. And here I'm putting on some static grass and some ground cover. This is some Arizona rock and mineral um, N-scale ballast, which makes a really nice uh, basic ground cover, uh, kind of a rocky texture feel. And then just taking some isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle, misting everything I did, and then using some glue, a three to one ratio water to white glue to uh, hold it in place. Here I used the Pennsylvania gray color and skill ballast for the ground cover. And then for the 
the unloading area, I used uh, Woodland Scenics um, gravel in various colors there. And here you can see all the ground cover is complete. I do still have to do the ballast. I'm still waiting for that to come in the mail. But um, so far, so good. All right, so there we go. Coming along quite nicely here. I just have to finish ballasting the tracks. I'm still waiting for my order to come in from Arizona Rock and Mineral so I can finish that. Um, once that's complete, then it's just a matter of some fine scenery details like crates, pallets, and figures. I gotta put a roof on the building. Uh, I haven't quite decided if I want to put lighting inside the building yet. If I do that, I'll probably put an interior like in the office and some sort of photo backdrop for the warehouse section here. I probably will definitely do that so I'm not just like looking through the window at my wall. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, really happy way this com is coming out. And for now, while I'm waiting for my order to be processed and shipped to me, I'll probably just start running some operations on this thing, figure all the different scenarios for the ANA food products business and all the different day-to-day -day operations that go on here. Um, other than that, it's just a matter of just having fun with it. So really happy with the way it's coming out. If you want to see some future updates and you're enjoying these, consider subscribing so you don't miss those. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.